In this screencast, I'm going to demo a utility called Zoomit. It was written by Mark Rusinovich. He created a company named SysInternals that has a whole, a whole suite of software, and Zoomit is one of the many. But it's particularly useful when you're trying to give application demonstrations. And I'll give you a brief overview and then run through the options. So Control-1 is the first option that lets you zoom in. So you can see it allows you to move around and uh, show things larger. It really helps for presentations where you have a projector of some type and it's hard for people to see the typical font on the screen. You can just make it larger and move around the screen so you can show whatever you'd like to show in more detail. The next part that it can do is annotations. So once you click, you can see this little circle here. It allows you to underline things if you hold down control it'll make a box if you hold down uh, tab that will make a ellipse and then if you hold down shift that can do straight lines so it makes it easier to underline various things you can also change the color of the uh, circle there so you can have it red uh, green I don't remember all of the colors there's purple you can do yellow you can use this for various things. You could even use it to annotate a football game if you're live. Anyway, the last option that I'll show you is the ability to type things. So you can actually type in text and you can uh, right click and that will allow you to move around leaving the annotations as they were and then clicking again will allow you to be back in annotation mode. That's the short demo. You can clear it with a race, and then escape will move you out. Let me just run through the options so you can see what else is available to you. So these are the shortcuts. Control 1 is for the zoom toggle. Uh, live zoom, I won't go into that. That only works on Windows Vista at the moment, and I'm running XP. Drawing is what I showed you. This goes through the details of what you can draw. These are the various colors that it allows you to do straight line with shift like I showed, control for rectangles and tab for ellipses. Oh, you can also do an arrow with shift control. I often forget that one. And then typing, you just hit T and that moves you into typing mode. You can type text. And uh, there's also a break timer and that's useful if you're going to start a presentation at a certain time or within five minutes you want to give people a break. You can just start the timer and it will then count down from that period of time. Anyway, it's a really useful utility can be extremely useful for presentations, like I said, and hope you find it useful yourself.